Hi guys, it's Dr. Raj. We're going to be talking through the skin normalizing system. So this is an amazing system by Dr. Zain and Baji. So welcome to your trial kit. This is the phase one kit. So we're going to be talking through what's inside the box. So I'm going to open the box for you now. And then I'm going to be talking through what's on the inside. Just trouble to open the box there. Right, so inside, there's lots of things going on. I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to talk about them individually, okay? So... Is your cleanser. So your cleanser is going to be used morning and evening. All of these products you just need to use two fingers, that's what you need to do. So with the cleanser you're going to wet your face in the morning and you're going to be using a small pea-sized amount on the tips of your fingers, rub them together and then start rubbing it around your face. You're going to keep rubbing, keep rubbing until you create a, like a lava. You want to try and rub for one minute and then whenever it's done that you're going to leave it on your face for another minute before you wash it off. Importantly, when you put it on, um, if you're not seeing a lather, you're not seeing that, that kind of foam building, it means that there's too much oil or there's makeup or there's too much stuff on your face. So I would suggest if that doesn't happen, you need to wash your face and re-cleanse and start again, okay? So you're going to do that first. So while your face is still wet, we're going to be doing this, which is your polish. So exfoliating polish is your second step. So this contains tiny little crystals that are designed to dissolve under your fingertips. You're going to be putting on, again, a tiny piece sized amount and you're going to be uh, taking it over and bobbing it about in different parts of your face and then slowly rubbing it in with two fingers. Not too much pressure, it's going to be quite inflammatory. When you start rubbing it in, you will notice that if you're rubbing it too hard, the crystals will start to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's a cue that you probably doing it too hard. You can start, I would say, around the center part of your face to avoid the eyes and avoid the neck when you first start. Importantly with this, it's quite abrasive and you're not used to anything like this before. I would start very slowly, so I'd start maybe two days a week. So I'm going to pick up on Monday and a Thursday or something. And then every week add in an extra day, so that by kind of five, six weeks time, you're using it every day. Try and use the cleanser and the scrub uh, in the shower. So if you have a shower in the morning or in the evening, um, then wet your face at the start of the shower, do the rest of your shower as you would. And then at the end of your shower, when your face has been wet for a few minutes, then you use your cleanser because your skin will have already had time to absorb some moisture and you're going to get much better exfoliation from it. So if you're going to do that in the morning, that's fine. So do the end of your shower, while you're in your shower, get your cleanser, while you're in the shower, do your scrub, and then um, rinse your face and dry your face and then continue with the rest of your program. You're then going to dry your face. So you're going to rinse off all that, you're going to dry your face, and then we're going to move over to the pads. So there's 60 pads in here, so I would advise um, that you cut the pads in half, and then you'll actually have 120 half pads. You can use half a pad in the morning, half a pad in the evening, and that means that you'll save some, save some bucks, and it's going to be about two months supply rather than a one month supply. So what you're going to do with the pad is once your face is dry, you can take half a pad and gently but firmly uh, apply pressure and rub it over one half of your face. Flip the pad over and then do it on the other side and then throw it in the bin. They're quite wet, so just be aware that's normal. Um, if it, anything goes in your eye, you can just clean it with some water. It's very fine, it's not a problem, don't worry. Um, but they, they are going to dry very quickly, so make sure you keep the lid on um, to preserve them. That is your toner and it will bring your skin's pH back into a normal balance and it will prepare your skin for the next step. So the next step is your daily power defense. This is the closest thing you're going to get to a moisturizer in the range, in the trial kit at least. With this, um, it's got a patented formula, very, very, very interesting formula, full of um, DNA repair enzymes and things called ceramides that help to block the tiny micro tears inside the skin and help to replenish an epithelial barrier to the skin to stop uh, water escaping and stopping you feeling dry. When you're starting out, probably one or two pumps, depending on what your exact problem is. Um, if you're unsure, I would just do one pump to start with. So do one pump in the morning, and then again, tap it all over, and then just use two fingers, rub it in. And then you're going to move over to your Rosatrol, which is your uh, final product before your sunscreen. So Rosatrol is going to be the product. contains um, an ingredient called Rosa Canino, which is a very powerful anti-inflammatory um, naturally occurring botanical and what it will do is reduce inflammation, reduce redness, reduce sensitivity in the skin, 
reduce the feeling of dryness and tightness. And um, if some people have got ocular rosacea and their eyes are actually feeling red or irritated, by putting it on the skin, it can actually also help with the eye as well. So don't put it in your eye. When you've done this, again, you're going to use one pump to start with, I'd say, and again, over the full face and start rubbing it in and then just let it absorb. Straight after this, you're going to use your sunscreen. You can use that every day straight away. The only product you're going to build up slowly is going to be the polish. So just to recap, your morning routine is going to be your cleanser first, then your polish, then you're going to dry your face, you're going to use your pads, your daily powder fence one pump, Rosatrol one pump, and then your sunscreen, okay? Importantly, you're going to use that spaced out and slowly build it up. In the evening, the, the situation is slightly different. We're not going to use the pet scrub. We're only using that once a day. So in the evening, you're going to get home from whatever you're doing. You're going to cleanse your face. Again, rub it in for a minute, leave it for a minute, wash it off. You're going to dry your face. You're going to use your other half a pad. You're going to put one pump of your daily powder fence, one pump of your Rosatrol, and then wait an hour before you go to bed. I hope that makes sense. Um, important things to also note are that the this is going to be lasting a probably it's designed to last about six weeks and when you come back and see us in the clinic we'll be able to talk about what the next steps in the regime are if there's anything that's confusing about what I've said then more than welcome please contact the clinic so this is going to be your kind of initial phase and then after this we will then move you on to the full size products that last a lot longer the full size one of this lasts about six months um, and we can also then tailor your skincare depending on exactly what your skin needs are and we can really really focus tightly on exactly what your problems are and make it more bespoke but this is a really good introduction we'll also be sending you a video of um, understanding skin which is a little lecture i did so have a look at that and i'll explain what these products will do um, to your skin and make everything make a bit more sense. If there's anything else, give us a shout. Bye.